Hey everyone, it's Chad, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to test the capacitor on your air conditioning system if for some reason your air conditioner doesn't seem to be working. Just had this problem while I was out of town for the woodworking show and got home and all the normal stuff. I checked to see if the air conditioner was freezing up. I checked to make sure the air filters were clean. And the next step that I could check anyway was to see if the capacitor was good or bad. And we just had a lightning storm. I don't know if that affected it or not, but for whatever reason, after that entire storm, uh, we did have some issues with our air conditioner. So I am going to take you through that process pretty quick and simple. So watch along. The thing that I did is I opened up this box for the air conditioner. I've got two of them, I've got two units, and I ended up testing them both. Only one was having an issue. But as it turns out, I needed to do something with both of them. So let's pull this out. And there. So now the breaker, there's no power to the air conditioning system. This is the electric service panel. And I'm just going to loosen up these two screws here. On my particular system, this is all that's required to have to actually remove those then remove these two screws one on each side and this panel will come off now this right here is the capacitor don't touch it but what you want to do is take a screwdriver and you want to run it across the two posts this way and this way and this way. So make sure that the capacitor is decharged or uncharged and then you can pull these wires loose and make sure they're not touching anything. So, and remember what order they're in. The brown went to the fan, the yellow went to the common and the blue one went to the HERM, H-E-R-M. And when you look at this, you can test this in place if you like. I'm just going to pull it out and put it closer to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we have a multimeter. And on mine, you can see here, it's got where this ohm setting is, it's also got this. Where this ohm setting is, it's also got this little, you see that symbol? So that's for testing a capacitor. So what I want to see on this capacitor and you can look at the capacitor has the numbers on it so it's 35 um, and that 35 is from the if you see here it says, says C and then on this side right there it says Herm and then up here it says fan. fan so from this side to the Herm I should have 35 and from the common to the fan I should have 5. So let's test those and see what we get. Okay so when you're testing the capacitor you want this to read NF up here and so from the common to the Herm all right, that's reading at 17 and a half. And if you recall, it said 35 here. So that's like half, exactly half. And from the common to the fan, we're at 4.66. That's a little bit low. Um, there is a plus or minus 6%, and I'm thinking that probably falls in within that 6%. But there's definitely something wrong with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that one. So. Here's my replacement. As you can see, I just got this off of Amazon and I'll have the link in the description to the Amazon uh, item that I ordered for this particular one. And there's several different ones, but a lot of them are common. I just put in the dimensions. Actually, I put in the uh, 35 and five and 370 VAC capacitor and that's what I found. So let's test this one. We got the black and the Herm. All right, there we go. 
So it's reading 35.2. And from the common to the fan, 5.14. So that's dead on, that's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and put this back in. We're just gonna slip it back in the housing. And as we said before, brown is the fan, blue was Herm. So whatever is up, is the position. So on is up, off is down, so that means it's on. If I flipped it over like this, that would be off. So even though the up is, the on is upside down, that's the correct position. And in my situation, I'm gonna go, have, go ahead and repeat that for this side. The whole process a second time. Sometimes these are hard to get out, but that's by design. So now I know the power is off to this unit, and I'm going to go ahead and just repeat this whole process a second time. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my buddy Jerry Blakesley over at Jerry's Machines. I had a few questions about the results I was getting on my testing of the capacitors. I sent him a few pictures, as you can see here, and he was able to walk me through it. So thanks a lot, Jerry. And if you want to see some really cool stuff, go check out Jerry's channel, Jerry's Machines. I'll have a link in my description. I wanted to do a quick recap of this inside where everybody could see what was going on in good light. So on my multimeter, I'm going to go up here to where the ohms are. And then this right here shows that it will test a capacitor. So once it's on that, I want to select this one. You can see here it says NF. If you look on the capacitor, it says 35 slash 5 UF. And maybe that's what that is on there, I don't know. Anyway, uh, ferrites or whatever that is, is some kind of a measurement. Anyway, so what you want to do is test these and you can actually reverse it. You can test it common. And then this side is the Herm. You can see that reads 17.5. And even if you reverse it, but you always want to be testing from the common, which it'll say C. I'm going to show that up closer in a second. 17.5. So it doesn't matter which way you have the wires, but as you can see here closely, there's a C there for common, right? there. This says Herm. I know that means something. And then on this side, that's to the fan. So the first number, 35, that's from the common to the Herm. And then the second number is 5, and that's from the common to the fan. So let's test from the common to the fan to see what we get. That's 4.67. On the new ones, when I tested them, they were at 5.2. So, you know, it's a 6% variance. If you look here on here, it will also say plus or minus 6% somewhere. There right here, plus or minus 6%. So if you figure out what that is, plus or minus 6% of 35 or five, that would be within the variance, but 17 and a half is half. That is definitely not a good capacitor. So once again, we're gonna check this one. This was out of my second unit. This one's way off, 3.12. That's crazy. And then, so the fan, the fan was actually higher, 3.4. So that, that second unit, it was not working at all. And you can tell by the numbers, it's just way off. 
So hopefully that helps somebody save some money. You know, I don't make as much money as my air conditioning guy does. My air conditioning guy is a great guy. And as a matter of fact, I think he's actually even subscribed to my channel. But anytime I can do something myself, I'm going to attempt to do it. And that was my process. I hope it helps you. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Here is everyone, finally. Look at that. He's walking a little funny. He's walking a little funny. He might have gotten the he might have got the rubber glove treatment. <laughs> Three hours. <laughs> the traffic jam. <laughs>